You know, you're not actually that important. Now, what I mean by that is that, well, you're not the center of the universe. You're not someone who matters just because you're born. No one actually is that important. You might think, well, I'm alive, I'm entitled to this, that, and the other, and fine, you know, speak out for what you want. But don't assume that just because you happen to have fallen out of a woman and have become a living, breathing being, that you are entitled to matter, be important, and be paid attention to, and mean something. All of that shit comes with action. It does not come from just happening to walk about on two legs. If that were true, well, there'd be seven billion important people in the world, and everybody would be important, and the title would be meaningless. So, what am I getting at here? Why am I bantering about how little you matter? Well, it's because everybody walks around with this sense of self-importance. Like, well, I'm here. Where's my free stuff? Where's my attention? Come, come. And I just want to look at these people and go, What's ma what, the what is the matter with you? Why do you think you're entitled to anything? What have you done to earn these things. The, see, keywords there. Doing and earning, you know. If you want someone to pay attention to you, if you want someone to think you matter, if you want the world to take up, stand up, and notice you, well, you have to do something worth noticing. There's a lot of people walking around. There's a lot of people doing things. If you want to stand out, if you want to stand above them, you have to do something to matter. You cannot just sit there and say, I am alive. Notice me. Give me stuff. I need things. No, no. No one does that. No one can do that. I mean, plenty of people do it, and that's the problem. They sit there and they say, well, I am special. Why? Hmm? Why are you special? That's what you should be asking yourself. And if it's, if it's because, well, I'm unique or I'm important and you have no because, then there's your problem. That's why you might be ignored. That's why people might be looking down at you. If you haven't done anything to stand up for yourself and to be noticed, then you're not worthy of noticing, really. And I don't mean to denigrate here, at least explicitly. On a general level, sure, I do. But what I really want people to do here is to take notice of the fact that actions speak louder than words. That what you do is what paints the picture of who you are for people. And if you want to matter, if you want to be a force of change, you can't just talk, you have to do. That applies to me as much as anyone. I talk on these YouTube channels things, you know, they've got these videos here where I talk to you and I convey my ideas, but without doing, they don't matter too much, do they? Which is why they're out there for you to look at. That's part of the doing, is I'm spreading my ideas beyond just table talk conversations with a couple friends. I'm sharing them with anyone who wants to see them, and that's a part of doing. The words I say here do have meaning, because they're spread, but they have much less meaning unless you take them and act on them and live by them. I can live by them, and that benefits me. But unless you try to live by them, or at least think about them and apply them to yourself in some way, then the meaning they have is limited. But you have to act on these things, too. You have to live by what you say. You have to matter to matter. It sounds dumb, but it's true. No amount of importance comes inherently from existing. It is only given importance by other people and by themselves if we're talking about people. If you want to be important, you have to be important. Just saying. It's something to think about because a lot of people want to matter.